Things are starting to perk up in love next door, as love begins for Sukryu and Sunghyo, who finally made the crossover, from childhood friends to lovers, in the recently concluded episode 11. What's more, the series never fails to wring tears from the viewer's eyes, after each episode. As much as there were waterfalls of tears in the last episode, there were hearts, and the last scene took the cake. And the preview for the next episode, promises more honey drip and heart fluttering moments. Meanwhile, after their unexpected kiss, Mum and Dan Ho are still stuck at an akimbo. However, the push they finally need is upon them, as Mum gets a notification about her dream job, which will take her thousands of miles away from Mudflat Man and Yandu. As expected, the focus was on Sung Hyo's family this time. Love Next Door is not only about Sung Hyo and Suk Ryu's transition from childhood friends to lovers, but also encompasses their family situations, friends, and higher Rungdong neighborhood. It's a perfect mix of rom-com and slice of life. It goes to show the importance of communication in every relationship. After encountering situations that made him doubt his wife's fidelity, Jiang Zhang thought it was best to set his wife free to be with the person she loves, by asking for a divorce. It never occurred to him to have a discussion with her, or confront her with his findings. For Hai Suk, leaving and keeping her pride was the best she thought she could do. She started to suspect something was wrong with her, and wanted to tell her husband about it, and her resignation, but he brought up the divorce, derailing her. However, just as Jiang Zhang pointed out, she didn't stop to ask him why. Just like that, they decided to end over 30 years of marriage without knowing the reason why, without communicating. My heart bled for both young and old Sung Hyo, who was not only caught in between his estranged parents, but had to hear his mother say she regrets having him at such a young age. It also didn't help that he watched her leave with her colleague, overlooking his cries. This must have cemented the belief that he's unwanted. Thankfully, he could finally unburden his hurt, and communicate his feelings to his mother. And just like that, he healed his inner child, no matter how old he was, he became a baby in his mother's arms. As suspected, Hai Suk is going through something yet to be disclosed. Her forgetfulness wasn't random, but an indication that something could be wrong. Who else cried reading her words at the temple? She must have been in denial about her predicament, and had an episode on her way to the airport. Jiang Zhang almost lost it, when he realized their wedding anniversary was her key unlock code. Hopefully, it's something treatable. Having her loving medical emergency professor husband, and a caring son, is bound to make whatever it is bearable and less lonely. Just like their son, they are about to enter a second honeymoon phase, to the viewer's delight. Meanwhile, just as he was for her, Suk Ryu stood by Sung Hyo's side through it all. She took the time to find a family picture for him, and tried to encourage communication between him and his mother. Her presence must have meant the world to Sung Hyo, who was breaking apart. However, they were both frustrating at the beginning of the episode, reinforcing the importance of communication. On the day of the milk expiration, Suk Ryu waited for Sung Hyo to bring up the topic again, but he didn't. After the storm that followed, with the disclosure of her privately fought health battle, it's glaring that something shifted between them. But she feared that he'd taken her first rejection as an answer, and waited with hopes, for him to ask her again. Sung Hyo, on the other hand, took a step back, thinking to give Suk Ryu space, as he realized that she had a lot on her plate, and with everything that had happened. 
but this didn't stop him from hoping for an answer from her. I'd say he was a little hesitant and afraid of another rejection. However, Sukryu hearing Sung Hyo's confession once again, but this time in French, gave her the final push she needed, acting as a catalyst, as Mum said. I must say that her confession was perfect and took the cake. The sunflower field was breathtaking, and Suk Ryu confessing her feelings with words related to food, was chef's kiss. It's like she thought of her current two most important things, food and Sung Hyo. What a confession. And I quote, without you, time drags on, without you, comic books aren't fun, without you, the playground feels too quiet, without you, every day is so bland. What else can a guy ask for? These are Sukryu's favorite things, but feel wrong without Sung Hyo. Sung Hyo reciprocated with a beautiful, heart-fluttering kiss. It was the perfect kiss between two friends, who are taking the next step into something more. Meanwhile, who would have thought that Mum could have such a wild dream, about her mudflat man? I have to say it, Mum, communication will save you from more wild dreams. However, her moment and words to Yundu at the bathhouse were sweet. They will make a good family together. As Mum received a notification about her dream job, at the South Pole, I guess it's time something changes. I fear she'll be stuck between pursuing her dream job, and staying with her mudflat man. In the preview, she can be seen spending quality time with Dan Ho and Yundu. Meanwhile, Sung Hyo and Suk Ryu define their relationship after their kiss. They start a sweet secret love affair, and Sung Hyo nearly gives them away, as he thinks only of Suk Ryu. You know what they say, like father like son. Jiang Zhang, who can finally express his love for his wife, goes all out for her, during a vacation with Mi Suk and her husband. This doesn't go unnoticed by Mi Suk, who doesn't hesitate to show her jealousy. On the other hand, the new love birds, Sung Hyo and Suk Ryu, sneak a little time for themselves, basking in their new relationship, from childhood friends to lovers. Sung Hyo assures Suk Ryu of his love, and she rests on his shoulder, making Sung Hyo exceedingly happy. What's more, Mum prepares a special for Dan Ho and his daughter, Yun Du. The trio have a memorable fun day. Meanwhile, misunderstanding and jealousy burn fiercely between Sung Hyo and Suk Ryu. Sung Hyo tries to keep his cool, by pretending to be busy after gazing lovingly at Suk Ryu as she walks in. Unsuspecting Suk Ryu questions his interest in her, as she dolled up just for him. Tension sizzles between them as Suk Ryu tries to hold Sung Hyo's hand for the first time as a lover. What are your thoughts on Suk Ryu's confession, and the subsequent kiss? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for all things wonderfully K-drama. Thanks for watching, bye.